is it truly possible to trust your other half when they jet off on those kind of do's? A third of people. A third? <laughs> oh, God, she's going to go oh into a Oh, my God, why are they getting married then? <laughs> if a third of them are cheating, why on earth are they getting married? <laughs> apparently... <laughs> Apparently, most of them say there's alcohol involved, they get egged on by their friends. <gasps> Joe's two friends best not get married and have steak dues, I tell you. <laughs> He's not going. <laughs> do you have steak dues? Not to, not to no, anybody. You could trust him. You trust Joe anyway. Yeah, of course I do, but one in three, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> She's changing her mind fast. Well, so that means if only two, two people went away. So if Joe went away on a steak dude, you'd have to take one friend. Then there's only two of them, so statistically, they should be all right. Exactly. <laughs> I like your thinking. One in two. Here we are. Mark always says that stag dues are such an enormous pressure. And I think often we don't think of it like that, actually. You think, oh, all men are going off on He said, but you know, the pressure to get really drunk, it has to, nine times out of ten, has to be a stripper's club after. We've actually had to break up certain friendships. Like, I'll say to him, oh, where's so and so? He was coming around, oh. No, he started showing me porn. He started wanting to go, he says, which in itself is really odd. Another man showing you porn. He says you wouldn't be amazed how many men want other men to look at porn with them. Right. Uh, what and, for? And, and he said, and then often they're quite young women. <laughs> and, and he goes, and I've got young daughters. And then he, he says it just makes him feel sick. But he said there is enormous pressure. He said because what to be kind of way, laddie. Usually half of the men in that group don't want to do what is actually yeah. going on. I've I've sort of but heard I, that. I would, as well. I would trust Mark completely to go on something like that but if he were because let's make no mistake about it, there is something of the pack mentality there is something like right we're all going away we're all going crazy drinking on an empty stomach there is the chance that a perfectly decent honest kind person could make a terrible mistake what and would you forgive him if he did make a mistake mark is he watching <laughs> I don't think he is. No, but um, my dad is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mum or your dad does. If he had no, I, I, I someone or something, would you forgive him that? I, I would. I wouldn't. No, no why? I would. No. I, I tell you why I would. Because in that situation, because we've worked really hard for 16 years and got a really, really good marriage that we continue to work on on a daily basis, I know what that man is. I know he's good, he's kind, he's honest, he's loyal. But I also know that people are fallible. I don't think he would do this. No. But if we take me right down as the grassroots of what would it, if this were to happen, I would look at all of that and I would mm. say, maybe it was the pack mentality. Yeah. You know, maybe I'm crazy. But... I wouldn't be able to forgive Mark. I mean, you know, our whole relationship is built mm. on trust. I've been cheated on enough in the past and I really, really do trust him. Not that he would even go on a stag do. It would be his idea of hell. For a start, he wouldn't get on the blooming plane. <laughs> 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 and he don't really drink that much, but it would be completely alien to anything I've grown, you know, we've been married for 27, yeah. 28 years. Mm. And if he did, even a kiss, that would be the end of yeah. it, you know, because I'd just feel, like, completely betrayed. I really would. I, I would feel like that if it was an affair, because I would think there would have been, been a whole pack of lies, yeah. and then, then he wouldn't be the person that I think he is. I'll but be he's a human being, that. and human beings can make the odd mistake. I think you're really good for having that mentality because I would pretend to be you. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, maybe we can work this out. But when you get to 52, you might be that. Oh, when God, I was no. your age, I probably wouldn't. I'd be resenting that person forever. <laughs> I'd be thinking every time they went, even kissed someone on the cheek, I'd think, oh, kissed her, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd lose it. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to kiss What sort on. of guy do you think he'd be if, like, if he did an Amsterdam trip or something, he did the stag We Amsterdam. went to Amsterdam, OK? Oh. I'm really embarrassed Well, you went with him on a stag do? No. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> we went for, like, a little trip away and... A part of me was a little bit curious about the sex shows, you know, like, right. <laughs> so I, I did want to go and see, not go and see one, but I just wanted to, I was curious. Anyway, cut a long story short, I went in. <laughs> I went in with Joe, and we ended up having like a massive argument because I was literally the whole time like, this is exploitation, are you looking at her? You like her? Are you enjoying this? <laughs> <laughs> did you did you make him leave then? Yeah, I made him leave and he paid... Well, we, we were with a group of friends and everyone paid so much to get in there and I was like, we have to go. <laughs> I, I was losing it, Nadia. I love hearing about your dates. They always sound so <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm awkward. 